All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are gonna be talking about the Archer Pro. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this flashlight. Before I talk about this one, I do wanna to talk to you about this one. I did a video on this one. This one is the ThruNet Archer Mini. Let me tell you just a quick overview of this. This thing literally rides in my pocket. It lives there religiously. As you can see, it is worn in very well. All of the functions work excellent on this light. Now, through night sent this light to me to review this light a while back. I did, and I freaking unbelievably love it. The only drawback to this particular one right here, uh, for me anyway, is the fact that the battery life. Now, the battery life is, well, first of all, let's look at this. This battery is enclosed in here. No changing out. So when it goes dead, it goes dead can't just swap the batteries, but it does last for a good long time. I use it religiously. I am an electrician, just so you guys are aware, and I do use this on the job all the time. It is hands down been one of my most used and most favorite flashlights of all through night. Now, obviously, the other flashlights that I've reviewed for through night have been excellent, but they all have their own purposes. This one rides in my pocket beautifully. They asked me if I wanted to review this one, and I thought, holy crap, this is the bigger size. This is the big brother of the little mini Archer. And I said, absolutely, hands down, because this thing is so phenomenal that I couldn't even imagine getting this one and using it and carrying it in my pocket on a daily basis. So let's open it up and see what we got. We're going to go through some of the specs of this. Uh, I've already opened it and charged it because I've used it a few days. We're going to give it a few more days before I finally make my final review of this one but as you can see it's very dirty it's been in my pocket it's been in an attic in the crawl space and it has done phenomenal now look at the difference of these two guys you know you can see that this one's gonna last a lot longer because the battery is a lot bigger obviously but i mean it's basically the exact same model except in a bigger version now we'll take it outside and we'll do the same kind of testing that I do at the end of my street. You guys will see that house. I will say that this thing is a lot brighter, obviously, because you can see the difference in the heads. And uh, phenomenal job on these flashlights, guys. You know, they always say two is one, one is none. Well, I'm here to tell you that I carry, I know this is going to sound so silly to some people, especially those people that are not into carrying flashlights, knives, and stuff. Uh... I like to have options because when I carry this one before, a lot of the times I just needed a quick little light on, you know, to see where I was going or whatever, and just, that was it. When I needed the bigger light, I reached in my pocket, obviously, on my side, and I pulled out the other light, and now this one, same way. I just let this one ride in my pocket. It hasn't been in my pocket a lot yet because, well, I haven't had that long. But, like I said, I will be reviewing this taking that side and showing you guys. So before we do all that, let's talk about what comes in the package. Get your light, you get a charging cord, of course, you get your manual and you got the silica package you don't want to eat. All right, let's talk a little bit about the specs because I think it's important to know how bright it is. Now, before I told you before, I wasn't a real big fan of the specs, but as I personally have been looking into lights more, uh, I've noticed that that is a big thing. So. I want to tell you a little bit, of course, you can read this, guys, and I will leave a link down for these both these flashlights down below in the description so you guys can pick them up from Amazon. Check them out. Uh, they're, they are priced so, so competitively. And, you know, I am not getting paid by through night at all whatsoever. This is solely what I feel about these lights, and I'm telling you, if you ever... Drop me a comment down below if you even remotely have any of these through night flashlights. You guys will know what I'm talking about. You don't have to pay a million dollars to get a million dollar quality because I was a huge fan of Olight before. I still have Olight flashlights. I'm not saying that they're bad because I still carry one. But, you know, these are slowly replacing. I have not bought anything because these things are just that great. Now, let's talk a little bit about the Archer Pro. All right, I think I get to the American side first because there's a lot of different. All right, here we go. You have 1,000 
22 lumens at one and a half minutes. And then it will drop, this is on turbo by the way, it'll drop down to 191 lumens for 145 minutes. Now guys, look, 191 lumens is really, really bright. So don't think, oh, you know, it's only a minute and a half of 1,022 lumens because it's pretty daggum bright, all right? On infinity high, you have 478 lumens for a minute and then it'll drop down to 208 lumens for 150. Infinity low, 37 hours, that's 13 lumens. Firefly, obviously we know what that is, just barely on. 15 days in strobe for 92 lumens at 260 minutes. Now, it says it'll go 134 meters max. Um, we're gonna test that out. Hopefully, if I can get down to the football field and not get the cops called on me, we'll take it down there and we'll see just how far we can actually go. So anyway, this IPX8 down to two meters. Impact resistant at 1.5 meters. Now, you know, they go in meters because, you know, this is not an American brand, so everything's in meters, but, you know, a meter to feet is 3.3 feet, so just keep that in mind. All right, so to unlock and lock, it's basically the same on all these flashlights between these two. Under the lockout mode, press and hold the tail switch to unlock the flashlight to enter the Firefly mode. Under the Firefly mode, press and hold the tail switch to access the lockout mode. Click the tail switch, the light will flash to indicate that it's locked. So, what that means is we want to go to, all right, that's Firefly. We'll hold it in. All right, blink, so it means it's on lock. So, no matter what you do, all you're gonna do is get a, you're gonna get a little flash. You wanna unlock it, you just hold it. It should flash, all right, it means it's ready to go. All right, you can push it twice. And you're, you can turn back on and ramp it up. That's low, it's gonna ramp up. All right, that means it's on high and we're gonna ramp back down. It should blink. All right, that's Firefly. Let's finish this video outside. We'll come back and we'll give my final thoughts in about two weeks. I'm gonna, like I said, I wanna finish reviewing this. I will see you guys back in about uh, two to three weeks and we'll go from there. All right guys, we are out here walking back to my truck. We're gonna see what the Archer Pro looks like. Very sleek in your uh, hunting arsenal or your pocket. And let me tell you, it is windy, so bear with me. All right, that's full brightness now. This is not as bright as a lot of the other lights that I have, but guys, there's no mistake in this. For the size of this thing, it's powerful. You guys can definitely see. All right, we'll ramp it back down. We have a clear screen and it's all focused. And when it blinks, it's at the lowest setting. Still, still very, very bright. As you can see. All right, we'll do the strobe mode because everybody likes seeing that. All right. Definitely would blind the crap out of anybody. And then we'll do the turbo mode. I mean, just incredible, guys. If you need to see something, you're going to be able to see with this light, especially on turbo. Just excellent, excellent light, guys. I mean, it's just crazy. Crazy how much power you have in your hand with these little lights. That is the Archer Pro. All right, many days have passed. Use this flashlight for some time now. As you can see, it has been used in my pocket. It still works perfectly, guys. I can't do the test on the street like I mentioned at the beginning of this video a couple weeks ago when I, when I first started this video. Uh, I wanted to use this flashlight a little bit more in depth and I'm telling you, man, these flashlights. Mm -mm -mm. So anyway, I highly recommend it. There will be a link down below where you can obviously purchase one of these and if you decide to purchase one through my link through Amazon. It will help my channel grow. All the money goes always back into my channel and you will get a perfectly good product. And if you don't like it, you buy it from Amazon, well, you can always send it back, you know that. So anyway, I think you're gonna find this to be just excellent. I love it. I mean, you know, I'm gonna tell you a little story and then we're gonna end this now. Before I said two is one, one is none. And there's a friend of mine named Ron C, he's got a channel and I'll link it down below. And we were camping one time. We we talked about, you know, because I never really understood two is one, one is none. I mean, I kind of did, 
But that put it in perspective when we sat and we kind of conversed about it and I thought about it. And I will tell you this. My Olight that I carry in my uh, pocket, well, um, I also carry one of these in my front pocket. And I know, it, like I said, some people think it's funny or stupid or whatever that you always carry two flashlights. But I was under a house, all right? And the lights were out, obviously, because was, there was nobody... There was no lights under the crawl space. My old light was dead. Luckily, I had this, and it guided the way right through everything, and I could see perfectly, and I could get out of the crawl space. Obviously, I could have got out anyway, but always helps to have a flashlight, you can see. All right, I'm going to leave right here, guys. If you want to see what happens next, make sure that you like and subscribe. God bless, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.